exciting. We got the SMX 3100 out of the shop. a brand new SMX 2100 coming in. It's a little bit of a smaller machine, but because of it, it's more nimble, a little bit more versatile. We have a park catcher on the machine along with the conveyor belt. So it's really designed for production, especially when we have a bar feeder attached to the machine. You'd just be cranking out parts day and night on it. And I'm excited. It's a little bit more back to the parts I'm a little bit more familiar with. Those two inch, three inch diameter parts we'll be able to run on here. And it's not too much different of a machine than what I came from. So we got the 80 station and tool changers just like the 3100. I think the bottom turret's a little bit smaller, but other than that, it's exactly the same as what was on there before. Smaller packages, bigger things. And what he said, as soon as they get this thing plugged in, you can get going making parts. everyone else in the shop get a new machine and every time they get one I'm wondering like when when am I gonna get one I've had the 3100 for a while now so it's nice that we got it swapped out space wise it's more compact in here you can see we don't have a whole country mile of uh, room like the 3100 but it's cool everything's more tighter in here the turret's a little bit smaller, but it still uses one inch stick tooling. I can get the KM attachments for this turret. A lot of my stuff is compatible with Travis's machine, so that's great. I just like all the little touches they put on the machine. So we got the blue on the uh, milling head with the logos. We got the Puma logo on the turret that looks nice and clean. We have the same tool probes as the 3100. We have this one here that comes down for the bottom turret. You have the door here for the upper spindle. You have a part collector here, just like the Puma 2100. So if your parts come out of conveyor belt right here. We'll get the high pressure coolant set up on this side, bar feeder on that side. Even though the machine's a little bit smaller, we still have an 80 station tool changer. It still uses the same size as the 3100, so I don't have to get all new milling attachments for that. That's great. And we're also gonna have one of Halter's robots on this machine so we can really showcase automation using the nine axis. We're gonna be using the THW3 chucks, just like the 3100. The only difference was I had that bigger one on the left spindle on the 3100, but we're gonna be using the smaller size one that I had on the right spindle, except now we have two of those, one on each spindle. So same size chuck on both spindles. Shunk was actually really quick on getting me the adapter plates and everything I needed for these chucks on this new machine. So they had everything in stock, which was amazing.
is a beast. We got 5,000 RPM laid spindles. The top spindle can go 12,000 RPM and it's got 30 horsepower. That's crazy for this machine. And one thing that I really like about this machine is how close you can get everything together. Without having any plates on the back of the machine, I can almost bring these two chucks together. That's great for chuck transfers. I don't have any jaws on this chuck yet, but you can see how close these things can get now. This machine has a 2 and 5 eighths diameter draw tube, so I can run bar stock that's that size or smaller. But what's really nice with this machine and these chucks is that I can run really small parts or I can run really big parts. So you can expect a wide variety of parts running on this machine. I've got the updated control now with the touch screen and the easy work. I've also got a data server on here so I can save big programs. So I'm really excited to get my way around the new control, but all the buttons and everything is almost exactly the same like the old machine. I'm really excited to see this thing in action. And make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and the notifications on our channel so you can see exactly when this machine is up and running.